Good morning, everybody. I had a question a little while ago about how to make a strobe filter. Now, originally, Final Cut Pro does not include this strobe filter that I've created. Um, basically, what this does is, here's a sample of my high frame rate, my regular, how the video looks regularly with no filters other than a color correction applied. And here is a sample of what it would look like with a 15 frames per second strobe filter applied. You can see how the frame rate is cut in half and so it looks kind of jittery and kind of gives it that old filmy look. Okay, so because Final Cut Pro didn't have this in there, I had to create it myself. And so this is what it's going to do. This is how it was done. If you open up Motion, you can, Motion has this filter in it. For some reason Final Cut Pro doesn't, but Motion does. So if you go to Final Cut Effect, and you give it whatever desire of uh, time code, whatever duration you want, it doesn't really matter. You just hit it, go in there, and you're going to go into Filters and go down into Time. And here you will find the strobe filter. If you grab it and drop it in here, you can then see the strobe rate right here, which is the frame rate. Basically, if you drop this down to 5, it'll go 5 frames a second. If you drop it up to 15 or take it all the way up to 60, it'll change the frame rate to whatever it is, or at least make it appear that way. So I'm going to click on this and hit Publish. This little arrow right here allows me to publish, if it ever goes, it allows me to publish the um, that that particular attribute. I couldn't think of the word. It allows me to publish this attribute so that I can use that attribute in Final Cut Pro. Now all I have to do is save it as, I'm going to call it strobe, I'm going to put it in the local templates category, and I'm going to give it no theme. In this particular case, depending on your time code, you could save a preview movie if you want. I'm not going to worry about it, I'm just going to hit publish. Um, I've already done this just to remember the steps that I did because the last time I did it was about seven years ago. Um, or maybe five. I don't remember. Where's my family anyway? So this is what I did and I will quit motion and now we have the strobe filter over here. Of course I'm searching for strobe. So if I take that filter and drag it and apply it into my my clip I can then change the strobe rate. Let's say I want this down at 10 frames a second. And you can come in here and type it if you want. And let's render that bad boy. Oh yeah. Do 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 do. Takes a little while. Let's do the double jeopardy while we're here. This little thing right here on the top of her camera is called a Fong Bong. Well, it's a Gary Fong um, flash diffuser, and everybody calls it a Fong Bong because the guy's name is Gary Fong. So this is what it looks like. This is a 10 frames per second as opposed to the 15 frames per second as before or the, I think it's 30, I don't remember. Maybe it's 24. Anyway, so there you have it. That's how you create the strobe filter. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly who asked me to do that, but this is how you do it. And I'm, I thank you for watching. Please subscribe and we'll talk to you later. Thank you.